When you link two databases together, you have many options in which you can view the data from one table on another table. One of the ways you can do this is through a property called lookups, which is an explicitly stated property on a tool such as Airtable. But on Notion, when you link two tables together, automatically you have a new column in which you can select items from the other table. That is a form of a lookup. However, you do have options in the way in which you can represent some of that data in the new table. What do I mean by this? Let's say that you're tracking your tasks in a database and the projects that are associated with these tasks on another database and you've linked them together. So whenever you have a new task, you can add a new project associated with this task or add it to one of the existing projects. Once you've mapped the tasks and projects together, you can also update automatically the progress of the projects based on how you are completing the tasks. So if all the tasks are done, the project progress will show us 100% complete. So how do you do that? You do that by applying calculations on lookups. A calculation property applied on a lookup is called a rollup. So a lookup essentially is a feature that goes to the other table, looks up the data that you want and just pastes it in the new table. But a rollup, what it does is that it goes, looks up the data, performs some operation on it and then rolls it up in a nice neat little number and then shows you that number. In this case, instead of showing all the tasks and all the tasks that are complete in each project, it will only show you the percentage of the number of tasks that have been done and so that you know exactly how much more progress you need to make in order to complete that project. So how do you do this? Let's check it out. Here is your personal workspace or HQ where you have a list of databases, including a list of projects here and a list of tasks here. Now, every task is associated with the project. So every task that you perform is related to one of the projects that serve as a, an underlying goal that make up the big picture of your life. So let's explore what this list looks like. This list of projects is basically the name of the project, the status and a few tags related to the project. Next, we have a task manager. Task manager is another table with a few more details, tags, status, but also due date. Has it been done? Work done, total work done. These two serve as the underlying data for the progress bar. So this is what we're seeing on the screen here. And that's basically the, the databases that you're seeing on this main page. Now, what we want to do is first step one is to link both of these. So our goal to remind you is to come up with a property that shows you the progress of the project as you complete your tasks. So how do you do that is step one is you link the tasks with the projects because you're saying, Hey, both of these are not two completely different databases. They are linked tasks actually are related to projects. The way you do that is you can open the task manager, you can click the plus button and say related to project. And this type, because you're going to link the table, is going to be a relation property. It is related to something. And my task manager is related to my projects database because all the tasks are related to the project in some way. So related to my projects and should this show up, should this link show up on my projects? Yeah, let's it's handy. So let's just go ahead and do that. And then what should that property be called related to task? Great. So I'm going to add this relation and click out. So now there's a relation here and also a relation here. So it is bi-directional, meaning that you can link it either here or there, but it will update in both places. Let's say task one read book is associated with project number one. Task two is project number two and project number three and task three is project number one again. So if you complete task two, you have completed both project two and project three. But if you complete task one, you have only completed half of project one. You still have another task left. So just simple numbers just to understand what's going on right now. If we now go back to projects, 
we see that these tasks are related here also now this column that you are seeing related to task is nothing but a simple look up property where it is looking up the name of the tasks from this table the first name column and then pasting it here as you can see task 2 or task 1 really depending on however you update this it will update this also so it's a simple look up property what we want and this is the last step what we want is not to see the names of the tasks but we want to see exactly how many tasks have been done so that you know the progress of the project you know how much has been done and how much is pending now one of the ways in which you can do it is by looking at the percentage of tasks that have been completed so let's see how we can do that the way you do this is through a property called rollups rollups are nothing but a complicated form of lookup so we already have a lookup we just have to perform a calculation on this lookup in order to get the right figure under rollup. Let's add a column. Let's just call it rollup. You can name it whatever you want, but for now, because it's a rollup, I'm calling it a rollup property. Now, here, instead of relation, choose rollup. A rollup property only works when there is an when there is a link already between two databases. In this case, related to task is already there. The link is already there. That is the reason why the rollup will work. Now, why does it work only when there is a link? Because whether it's a lookup or a rollup, you're asking the tool to go to the other table and either look up something and bring it here or look up something, perform a calculation, roll it up in a nice little number and bring it here. So the thing is, whatever it is, the op operation happens on the other table and it is brought here. So if there is no other table to speak of, the tool will be like, I can't roll anything up for you. First, link the table to something else. Here we've already linked it. So this is a roll up type. Under this, the relation. So there might be more than one relation, right? One table might be related to 100 different properties, 100 different other tables. So in this case, it's asking what relation do you want me to pull the data from? The relation that we want it is from the tasks table. So the related to task column is what we want to roll up nicely in a nice little number. Right now, again, it has shown up a lookup because it's just the names. The last thing we need to do is a calculation that we haven't done yet. So the first thing it's going to ask you is what property do you want me to perform this rollup operation on? Now, if you use name, then the properties that, you know, the calculation that can happen is you can show all the original values or the unique values, or you can count all the names and tell it, tell us how many names of those tasks are there. There's one name here, two task names here and one name here. So if, depending on what you're trying to do, maybe you're counting the total number of students in a course or in a class. So this might be useful for you depending on what you're trying to do. Here we're measuring the progress of a project based on the completion of tasks. So the completion of tasks is the column that we want. Where do we find the completion of task details? We either find it in status or more accurately, we know if the task is done or not done through this column. So it, it can either be done or it might not be done. So because it's a binary, it's easier to calculate. So let's go back and say, don't calculate name, but calculate based on the done question mark property. So property done question mark. The first thing it will do is, okay, I'm going to show you all the checkboxes that I can see on this column. So it's seeing all of these checkboxes, depending on what task it is associated with. It's just copy pasting those checkboxes. We don't want that because if there's like 100 tasks, you'll be seeing so many checkboxes and it's just very hard to make sense of what you're seeing. So instead of using direct checkboxes here, we're going to perform that calculation, which is that last step I was telling you about. So not the original checkboxes. I want you to calculate it based on, again, you can count all, which will give you the same result as before. It will count as many checkboxes there are associated with each uh, project's tasks. Instead of count all, we want to see how many have been checked. So count everything that has been checked, maybe in this way. So it'll say only one has been checked and here nothing has been checked. So either check everything so calculate everything that has been checked but the best number for us is the percentage because the percent also shows us how much is left so if you say percentage checked percent checked here it is very clear that 
it's only 50% complete this project is 0% complete and this project is also 0% complete now if i go to the task manager and let's say i complete task number 3 now both the tasks associated with project number 1 have been complete and now it is saying 100% complete similarly if i check the second task because it's associated with both project 2 and 3 and that is the only task associated it is 100% complete here and here okay the last step that makes it really aesthetically meaningful is adding that number against projects so that it's very clear on the dashboard. This is uh, nothing but the projects table being displayed not as a table but as a list. You can just create a new view for this. Then if you click the three dots here, it will ask you what properties do you want me to show. Right now zero are shown. Instead of zero, let's go ahead and toggle the visibility of the roll up then click outside and now you can see the percentage complete. Now if I go ahead and add a task 4 and I associate this with project number 1, you can already see that it has been updated to 66% because there's a new task and it has not been completed. If I check this, it will again go back to 100%. So a very, very useful trick to know when you're managing workspaces on Notion Rollups, lookups, and link databases, they all work together to give you immense powers on what can be done. Okay, so that was an introduction to rollups on Notion. I hope that you found something useful and that you can apply some of the concepts that you learned in your own workspace. If yes, please let me know in the comments how else I can help you power up your Notion workspace. If you like the video, please give this video a thumbs up and do share it with people who've just started using Notion.